hype. This is hype, that was hype, I'm hype. Never has a word been beaten into the ground until it loses all meaning like the fighting game community has done with hype. This term is used for things that are exciting to watch and get the blood pumping. Hype gameplay is fun to watch, it's fun to play, and it can even be fun to play against. You hit a zero to death, that's hype. You finished a combo with a move that people never use, that's hype. You read their soul and hit them with a roll read warlock punch, that's very hype. And while obviously what's exciting is 100% subjective, there are a lot of things that are almost universally considered as very hype. But recently I've seen a conversation on social media about a new term that's popped up, the absolute antithesis of hype, the creatively named fake hype. What is fake hype and how is it any different from just being boring? And is it even a valid term or is it just contrarians using it on social media for their daily hit of dopamine by farming interactions? Now fake hype may sound like an oxymoron, but it does make some sense. Let's take an example. Let's look at a character that is almost universally accepted as hype in Smash Bros. And that is Captain Falcon. Yes! He's fast, he runs at you a lot, he has some great combos, and he has the flashiest finishes with the down air and of course the very famous knee. If you've played a lot of Smash Bros. or just watched quite a lot, you're gonna know what a typical Captain Falcon game is gonna look like. But maybe that's the problem. People that call Captain Falcon fake hype think that he's predictable, boring, and lacks creativity. Is a true combo into the knee any more exciting than an equally inescapable back throw kill? Is constantly running at you over and over again to get the grab any more interesting than just staying back and camping the whole time? It can be equally oppressive feeling and it's just as repetitive. The fake hype criers are effectively saying that behind this facade of being fast and flashy, you're just as boring and predictable as the rest of us and I can see where they're coming from. If you're overexposed to almost anything, you're gonna get sick of it. If my best friend main Captain Falcon and I spent every Friday afternoon in the same combo over and over again, I'd begin to despise it. But I do wonder if the haters go too far and go into the realm of being contrarians. Contrarians on the internet is something I've seen a lot recently and it's starting to bother me. Contrarians are people that publicly go against the grain of the public opinion to try and get more interactions and views and it just gets more attention because of it. I mean, it makes sense. Drama is a great way to drive up your engagement. But the scary thing is, is that most people who act in this way don't even know what they're doing. Just getting more attention reinforces the behavior so they're actually unaware that they're even doing this on purpose. And now we have entire groups of people that think disliking a popular thing is a cool and interesting personality trait. I'll give you a hint, it's, it's not. So I'm gonna take a close look. What makes something hype? And how can we differentiate this from fake hype? Now, of course, this is all 100% opinion, subjective, don't cancel me, whatever. Let's start. Let's just start by getting the elephant out of the room. I've been talking about characters like they exist in a vacuum, which is, of course, not true. Every character needs a player to pilot them, and this is where the hype, the fake hype, and the lame all come out. Now, a really great example of this, I remember, is Smash 4 Sheik. We had Mr. R and we had Void. Now, these two players were both huge threats with their Sheik, the best two Sheiks in the world for a long time. But you could tell exactly who was playing just from watching the gameplay. You didn't have to see the player cams or anything. You could just watch the game player. Now, this is not a roast on Mr. R because he was really great in his own right for patient, punishing gameplay and very precise gameplay. But Void was just on something else completely. You never knew what was coming next, but it was always something so good. A hype player can make the most out of any character. Now, I haven't seen a really exciting Mega Man yet, but there's someone out there who can do it. Maybe there's someone out there already doing it, I don't know. But it definitely can be done. Now, pushing an unexplored character to its absolute hype limit is definitely not fake hype. It's new, it's novel, and it's creative. Because of Void, I think that Sheik is definitely one of the most hyped characters in the game and has so much potential to go there. But then when he picked up Pichu instead, that became one of the hypest characters in the game. So, well done Void, you're sick. But I'm sure you've already heard this point before. People say stuff along the lines of, there's no such thing as lame characters, only lame players. But there's another factor in the equation that I think that you might be missing with this one. And it's you, the viewer. You make the difference.
Now, I used to main Pikachu, so every time there was an ESAM set on, who is the best Pikachu in the world and has been for ever, I was really, really excited to watch. I think that his gameplay is extremely hype, because I have an appreciation for the difficulty and the finesse of his plays, because I've tried to do that, and it's not easy, I, I couldn't do it. So, I appreciate it, but put on a character I barely know, and everything they do kind of looks like a bunch of bullshit. My preferences and experience completely change my view on what characters I think are hype and not hype. Another factor that changes my preference is my own skill level. If I'm pretty new to Smash, I'm gonna wanna see just the big flashy moves and I don't really care about anything else. I wanna see the knee, I wanna see the warlock punch, I wanna see the forward smashes, whatever. But as I start getting better, I start appreciating the longer combos, the strings, the way people choose to extend their combos with reads and 50-50s. And you know you're really in way too deep in the viewing experience when you start enjoying watching neutral. You, you know the part where they don't really hit each other, they kind of just dance around? It becomes good to watch if you actually get what's going on. So again, what I consider good to watch and therefore hype, it really just depends on my own personal experience and knowledge. There's another point that every single Discord and Twitter screenshot I've ever seen chooses to ignore, and that's context. Here is a character that I consider absolutely awful. Duck Hunt. He camps, he runs away, he never can get kills, he has a crap recovery. I hate Duck Hunt. But what if Duck Hunt was playing against the undisputed most broken character in the game, piloted by like a top five player in the world? Would it be hype if they were winning then? So in this context, I do think Duck Hunt's kind of hype. Well, what about Ganondorf? Now I think he's pretty hype, but some people would say he's fake hype. He gets messed up for 90% of the game, and then he hits you with like three moves, and you instantly die, and then they're like, yeah, I played. Is that really hype? Well, in the context of one of the best players in the world going 2-0 down in loser semifinals of a giant tournament, then changing to Ganondorf, probably the worst character in the game, and reverse 3 owing his opponent, yeah, I would say that's pretty hype. Context is absolutely everything. So, wh what am I trying to say? Well, what I'm saying is that to put a character onto a tier list with a single JPEG and assuming you know everything about them is so painfully reductive that it's completely pointless. So, what's the moral of the story? I guess it would be pretty easy to say that this is just a lesson in interpreting social media where short sentences that are often limited with the number of characters they can post always will miss the big picture. And you should be thinking for yourself when you see any of these things. But I'll leave you with something a little bit more interesting as your moral of the story. You can't have a poorly written essay without having the dictionary definition of the thing you're talking about. What is hype? Well, according to the Oxford Dictionary, it's extravagant or intensive publicity or promotion and a deception carried out for the sake of publicity. Hype is by definition an exaggeration, a deception, a fake. All hype is fake hype. As a character becomes considered hype, they're automatically and simultaneously fake hype at the same time. So this entire discussion is complete nonsense and pointless. So with that in mind, thanks for watching. Leave a like for more video essays. <laughs>